Hey everybody, today we're going to go through section 2.1.3 of Luke Hatfield's help guide. That's the bed stabilization mod. Basically, we're going to stabilize the screws that cause the bed level to shift often and then secure the screws so they don't spin when you're attempting to tighten your adjustment knobs. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. <laughs> So I'm going to start this by removing my print surface. In my case, it's a sheet of glass. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and remove the all four of the bed leveling knobs down here. And I'm going to go front to back. So I'm going to loosen the front quite a bit, and then I'm going to remove the back quite a bit until they all come out. Now I got all four of the bed leveling knobs removed. So once you get all four of your knobs moved, go ahead and slowly raise your X gantry up out of the way. Just like that. So now we're going to go ahead and lift the bed straight up and that will remove the springs as well. And you just want to be very careful that you don't disturb this heater wire down here. So you want to get your rear spring off like that and set your springs aside. Then we're going to go ahead and add four four millimeter jam nuts to lock the screws to the bed surface. So I have uh, four nuts here and we're just going to go ahead and spin them on one by one. So one thing to note while you're doing all four is that you want to hold that screw tight while you're screwing it, you know, up close to the bed here. You can do that with a screwdriver on this side here. Uh, it's a Phillips, or you can do it by holding this end with a pliers if you need to. I prefer the Phillips, you know, mess the threads up of the bolt. So the next thing you want to do once you get the nuts tied up against that bed there is you want to go ahead and flip your bed plate over again. And we're just going to put the screw into the holes. And when we do that, we're just verifying that all of them move nicely. There we go. Like that. If they don't move freely like that, you may have to open these holes up just a little bit more. But if they do move freely like that, you can go ahead and move on to the next step. So the last step is to go ahead and add your springs back. In my case, I have the aftermarket springs, but if you have the stock ones, that's okay. That's actually what this is made for. So we're going to add all four springs back. So I found while putting these back together, when the spring, springs are going back on, I was having a difficult problem with that rear uh, left side where the heat actually comes in, the wires actually come in for the heat bed. So what I had to do is go ahead and loosen the nut put your spring on and then you can get the bracket on there and then you can go ahead and tighten the nut back up to the bed from there. And that should solve the problem I had with getting that bracket back on. So once you got that together, I flipped the bed over and set it into the Y mounting plate and then you should be solid in there. Now all there's left to do is go ahead and install your knobs back on and you should be good. From here, you'll need to move on to the bed leveling and make sure your bed is level again after doing this modification. Well, that's it. Thanks to Luke, now you have a much more stable bed. Please like the video. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing and click on the bell to get notified for the next videos that are coming out soon. Thank you guys and keep printing.